wiper. Get a wiper? Oh, it's, it's the administration. It's causing all your problems. Where do you think your inflation comes from? I know where my inflation comes from. From the gas that you give me. <laughs> what are you two fighting about now? I ain't fighting. He's the one that's doing the fighting. All I'm doing is talking. And all I'm saying is that I shouldn't be putting on this anniversary party, which I cannot afford. And all I am saying is the reason you are uptight is because, A, your union is about to go on strike. Hold it, hold it. I ain't uptight about that strike. And, B, between the recession and inflation, this administration is taking you to the cleanest. I'll get away. You can't walk away from it, Archie. You've been pinching pennies for months. You've done it one cigar a day, and you are scared stiff about that strike. I ain't scared about that strike. I ain't scared about nothing. You are too scared. <laughs> <laughs> you're scared your union's about to go on strike because of the high cost of living that this administration promised to bring down six years ago. <laughs> the only thing that scares me is the high cost of your appetite. You listen to your president, you know that he had the answer to inflation. The country's got to produce more goods. Then we got to have a little more unemployment. So when there's more goods to buy and less people who can afford to buy the goods, then the prices will come down. <laughs> That is the stupidest damn thing we've ever seen. <laughs> you watch your language. Don't be swearing in the house. Oh, God. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> what is the difference between this house and the White House? What are you bringing up the White House for? It's a fact, Arch. Nixon swore. Listen. Now, I'll say this for the man. He never swore in the house in front of his family. <laughs> Only with the people working for him. Because they're Germans. You gotta swear in Germans. <laughs> a small mind. I shut the hell up. <laughs> See how you can keep defending the guy. I mean, he had to resign because he lied about the cover-up. He did not lie. He forgot to tell the truth. <laughs> That's a big difference, huh? You get away from me. But as long as you're still with me, let me tell you something else. There's a lot of presidents done a lot worse than President Nixon. Like who? Well, like a lot of them. Like, uh, well, for instance, the guy that, uh, that guy, the guy that uh, went into the Capitol and under the dome and was selling the teapots on the side. <laughs> you mean Harding? That's right, Alexander E. Harding. <laughs> and nobody said a word to him because in them days, people have respect for what do you call uh, your executive's privileges. <laughs> try to get in a good mood for this party. Well, never mind my mood, little girl. Just keep hanging your steamers over there. <laughs> You're the one that got me into this whole expensive party here. Made me go out and buy your mother an engagement ring after she went 26 years without one. <laughs> Did 